Man, I just love Valentino Womo. Such a great scent. I'm glad that Valentino are back on track and they're not producing, you know, milking out of anything like that by producing pointless flankers. <laughs> Man, I wonder if they've released anything new. I'm going to go on for Gantic and check. Oh well. There we go. Hey guys, like see on our fragrance video, so I should have done this one yesterday, so it was right after Dark Temptation, but to do I have Excite by Lynx or Axe if you're in the US. So let's get started. I don't have a release date for this one. Sadly, again, they don't like doing it, but this stuff is the same price, about six quid a bottle. So yeah, let's get started. Bottle design, basically the exact same as Dark Temptation, basic boring bottle, kind of sleek. These marks here aren't on purpose that they've been sort of badly treated by me. Yeah, it fell it fell off the dresser a few times, but <clears throat> I take care of my fragrances. But yeah, it's it's kind of nice, but nothing special. I don't like the lack of detail. This cheap sticker, that's the only way to identify it is this sticker. Ugh. But yeah, it's not too bad. From the front, it looks okay. But yeah, not the best. So, how is the sprayer? The sprayer should be just as good as Dark Temptation, hopefully. Let's have a look. Really good sprayer with both of them. They have excellent sprayers, I have to say. The Lynx slash Axe sprayers are excellent. -y. Really good, I have to say, for the price. Um, so, for the sprayers like this that are excellent and they cost six quid, why the fuck does like Savo Poor Rome go tsk, tsk, six quid? By Lynx. We're talking Lynx versus at Savo. The best. Like, fucking come on. But how's it smell? Not bad actually. This actually reminds me. The thing is, I used Excite Share Gel a lot, so I never used the fragrance, but. This is a very playful fragrance. This is easily unisex, just like Dark Temptation. Um, you know, my sister wears Dark Temptation, and I, you know, when she's seventeen, so yeah. But <laughs> this smells really playful. Um, really, really nice, coconutty. Again, it's got that syntheticness in there. It's quite alcoholic. There's no natural. There's nothing natural about this at all. But um, yeah, it's. Quite playful. It actually reminds me a little with the coconut vibe, a little of Yope Om Wild, which is a great scent. And I find myself really liking this. I prefer Dark Temptation. I think it's a much better scent, but this one is pretty nice. Um, yeah, easily. I think this one's quite, if you're wanting to snuggle up on the couch with your girlfriend, like I do every night because I'm not single. <laughs> yeah. It also would work as a clubbing fragrance. Only problem is it doesn't have that much power. But coconutty. Nice, playful, kind of, you might find it a bit feminine for a guy, but yeah, I think it's a not a bad scent at all for the price. So, let's talk about performance. Again, not very good performance. This one is worse than Dark Temptation. They're both not very good. I gave it a 5, so 5 out of 10 for performance. This one lasts about 6 hours average, 4 to 6 hours, and doesn't project much. Uh, maybe project under an arm's length for... 30, half an hour, 45 minutes, and it starts to stick close to the skin, right, and then become a skin scent in there. It's really not the most heavy hitter at all. Performance is pretty poor, but for six quid, you're not going to be, you know, expecting this to last all day. It's not, you know, a lot of the cheaper fragrances, although they smell good, they just don't last. So, age group with this one. So, how many sprays? How many sprays? I'm going to go with six to eight sprays. You're going to need it. Colder weather, more sprays, hotter weather, less sprays. You know, but it's not the heaviest performer, so you might need to overspray to get any bit of performance. But it should do you for at least an hour or two if you do put on a few sprays. Age group, 16 and up. You can wear this at 16, you can wear this at any age. It might smell a bit young to be wearing in your, uh, when you, you're past the age of 30. You know, once you're past the age of 30, it might be a bit young to, to wear, but wear what you love. But I'm going to say minimum age, 16 with this one, without a doubt. I'm wear this in high school, no problemo. Pretty much every link scent you can wear in high school without a doubt. So yeah, moving on. Um, season wise, where to wear this one? This one is, I'm going to say, perfect for all seasons in my personal opinion. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. The only thing is in colder weather this might struggle because it doesn't perform as well and wind, rain will strip this right off your skin. Like the coat on a Ferrari. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. They don't come off that easy. We bit, we be a wee bit of hail, but <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, spring no problem. Summer if you go one or two sprays, it is quite light. It's not a heavy hitter. You get this lovely coconut vibe, sort of like York Pond Wild, coming across in summer, and it will perform better in the summer anyway with the heat. So there is that. Um, so yeah, autumn winter fine. Season wise, as long as you adjust your sprays, you'll be fine. Situation wise, where to wear this one? To work, I think you could rock this to work, no problem, seriously. You wear this to work, it's really playful, quite casual, quite nice. Yeah, perfect for work. A date, fantastic for a date. I personally wouldn't wear this for a date, there's better options, but if you're on a budget, and really, this is this is great for a date. Especially because it doesn't perform that heavy, it won't last the longest. So if it's just a, a movie date, or you're going for coffee, or going for dinner, um, you'll be thought sure for maybe a couple of hours. Depends if you pull or not, if you're that lucky and get invited back for a coffee. So that's nothing. If you want to get laid, don't take them out for coffee, because then it's more awkward. You wait for coffee and you decide, oh, let's have lunch. Then you're going back to their place for more coffee. It's like, well, they had coffee. It's like, fuck off. We're going somewhere. But yeah, all joking aside, Date, no problem. Clubbing, also pretty good for clubbing. Smell wise, this is fine for clubbing, but performance wise, it won't do the trick. It's hot, it's sweaty in a club, so it will project better, but so will everyone else's scent. Should be getting drowned out a little bit with guys wearing one million. If there's a guy in there wearing Montal, well, pff, out your league, you'll not, no one will smell you over his. Um, 212 VIP, stuff like that. Well, that's not as common, but you will get drowned out. That's the only thing but clubbing. So, next up, casual wear. You're going to the pub, you're going to the shop, she thought going out for a bugger, put on some cologne. Again, perfect. It's really laid back, this one. It's quite versatile. The performance really is the only thing letting this down. And it's cheap bottle design. But other than that, it's a great scent. I'm not going to lie. For the price, this is very nice, very playful. And yeah, um, just quite good. So... Next up is formal event. You're wearing a suit. Can you wear this? No. This is the only time this will n is an absolute no-go. Do not wear this with a suit. See, Dark Temptation has that chocolatey sort of sexiness in there, which would work with a suit. This doesn't have that. This is too playful. It's coconutty. It's playful. It's like something. A t it's a teenage girl's wet dream. <laughs> it's a teenage girl's um, um, best fragrance ever. You know, this is just. It smells almost. You would think it was a celebrity fragrance with all these. That sweetness in there that, that celebrity fragrances seem to target givers with that, you know. So, yeah, Rihanna it was so sweet and candy like, yeah, well done. But wearing this with a suit, no way, not gonna happen. But everything else is fine. So, versatility, I'm gonna give this thing a solid 9 out of 10. You can wear it everywhere except for with a suit. So, yeah, anyhow, guys, thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I believe I uh, links and axe fragrances aren't too often reviewed, so. I decide I'm going to start doing them from the ones that I own. I'm also going to try and do another one as well of Lynx Axe Peace. Unfortunately, I only have the body spray, but it's still better than nothing. We can compare it to Fahrenheit and find out, does it smell like Fahrenheit? So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message or send me a Facebook message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, guys, thank you for watching and keep on smelling fly. The low, low price of six pounds.